hello everyone, it's Christopher here from the Southwest Shooters and this is a very important video made in collaboration with my friends at Crackshot in Newton Abbott. Eric, Eric Irish, the owner of Crackshot, has recently started to stock AGT guns and this is a video review demonstration of this, this is called the Uragan Compact and this is one of the guns that they currently have available in stock as part of becoming a affiliated with the brand AGT and Eric kindly let me use this to make a video demonstration and a review of, of this gun but they're going to be stocking more of the range soon and these are sort of rare not many people have these available in stock and my aim is in this video at least is to produce the most detailed evidence of this gun being used in real life. So let me give you some overviews and some specs of the gun. This is a, uh, I would class this as a ballpup and it's a ballpup because it's uh, compact and small and it's nice and stripped back. That means that it's ex exceptionally light. It's very very easy um, and comfortable to shoulder. Um, you almost don't notice that there's anything there. It's, it's really that, that easy to use. But I can also give you some just quick rundowns of the spec. So it has a barrel length of 360 millimeters. The overall length of the gun is um, 620 millimeters. And it has a 210 cc uh, cylinder. So you're probably thinking, well, what else does it have? Well, it will come with two 12 shot um, 2 2 magazines, and I'll show you how they work in a second. It's truly uh, ambidextrous. So if you want to, you can shoot it um, righty, or if you want to, you can shoot it lefty. And one of the things that enables you to do that is that the gun is designed so that it's symmetrical from either side. Uh, in terms of the cheek placement, but also the cocking arm can be swapped around from left to right, which is fantastic. I haven't done that for this video. I've just kept it how it comes, which was on, on the left hand side. But um, there are instructional videos on how to do that online and it's very, very simple to use. Uh, the gun would also come with a soft carry case. It comes with like a pen which also gives you some in indication of your groupings, which well, I'll come on to that in a second. And a keyring, which is cool. The gun has a really nice, easy to use safety feature. So the safety switch from the gun is just before the trigger there, and you just flip it backwards and forwards. Forwards, you can fire, pull it back, and it locks the trigger. Um, and that works as a safety. It has a Picatinny rail at the top and it has one at the bottom for attaching a bipod. I don't attach a bipod in this video. I'm just going to be shooting it um, either off, off a bench, a rest or just using my elbows. Now's probably a really good time to actually show you some of the data. And when I say data, I mean, me, I mean me shooting the gun. And for this video, I am using the uh, scope cam because I wanted to show you what it was really like okay so I'm gonna show you me shooting the gun at 20 20 30 40 and 50 meters okay I'm gonna put the little description link in the bottom so if you want to fast forward to either ones of those you, you can okay but I'm just gonna sh present this to you now all right so this is me using this gun with this um, scope cam on the top shooting at 20, 30, 40 and 50 meters and you'll see that the distances progress as the video goes on. Let's have a look at that now and then we'll come back to it and we can talk about the results in a second. Okay, so this is the Uragan at 20 meters.
wonderful that is a very good group let's take it out to 30 okay then let's take it out to 30 meters and zoom in a bit more let's see what we can do here Okay, so that looks mighty impressive yes so let's take it out to 40 meters and see what we can do okay so this is when we can really start to test the gun this is the come on there we go let's see what this is like at 40 meters Okay, so I think that what I need to do then, that is now my zero point. Okay, so I like that, but what I don't like is having to mess around with the zero point. So I'm going to make an adjustment to the scope, and then I'm going to do this one again. Um, that's still very encouraging, but I think I can do better. So I'm going to make a quick adjustment, and then we're going to do the 40 meter one again. Alright, so I've made the adjustment. I'm going to zoom in a bit further this time, but a bit closer. Ooh, a bit of a flyer there. Lovely. Let's take it out now to 50 meters. What's going on there? Okay, so this is the big one. 
50 meters from there you go now I anticipate I'm going to need to use some holdover for this so what do I do let's try Ooh. let me think here hmm let me shoot off another one okay I'm gonna keep going good So there was a group just way to the side there. Oops. Nice, there we go, lovely. I'm exceptionally happy with that data. All of it is super high quality. And when I say super high quality, I mean the actual experience of using the gun as well as the groupings that we're getting. So although it gets further apart at 50 meters, that's still almost under a one pound coin. And I'll demonstrate that in the side here now. I am using Air Arms Diablo Field pellets in 2.2. They're the only pellets I actually tried through this gun. You might be able to find something that groups better for you, but I think as a starting point, they're a really good variety of pellet to to think about and to actually uh, consider using. I'm thinking of who or what is the intended purpose of this gun and I think it could be used for anything. If you're looking to use it for target work I think you absolutely can. But I think it also has a lot of utility for working in the field as well. Now, if you're in the field, you might not have the luxury of shooting from a picnic bench with a rest. So what I'm going to show you now is me just shooting some flippy targets at a little over 30 meters, just using my elbows on, on the bench, old school kind of style without any, any real help or support. Let's, let me show you that data now, and then we can talk a little bit more about the gun afterwards. Let's have a look. Okay then, so as a final little treat, let's try and go for some of these flippy targets. But I'm just going to be using my LB bows. Um, again, I can zoom out the distance. Distance is a hair over 30 meters. It's very easy to use very simple to use it's a, it's a I mean it's super easy I know I keep saying that let's go for one of the uh... Ooh, I can't see them Let's go for one of these spinny ones. Yeah, there you go! That's the stuff, man! This is an amazing gun. Sorry for um, losing my temper like that. I didn't lose my temper at all. I was just enjoying the gun. Can 
I reset them? Well, I hit it. And that's it. 12 out of 12, all done. Um, I'm very, very happy with that. Extremely happy. Yeah, that's awesome. So, as you could tell from my uh, enthusiasm in that video, I'm really, really, really impressed with this. For such a small gun, it's incredible. The accuracy is astonishing for a 2.2. This is easily the best 2.2 rifle I've ever used. And it's up there with some of my favorites. The gun is unbelievably quiet, right? I'm gonna dry fire it now next to the camera so you can have a listen, but let's just... Oh, the safety's on, excuse me. Okay. It's so quiet compared to some guns that I've used in the past. It's incredible. The moderator is a nice big chunky one that I think they've... I don't know if it's a special one that they've developed themselves, but it's really quite a special gun. And it, I mean, it looks crazy when you take the moderator off, and it does come with a little protective cap that you can put on at the end, but because the gun's so short already I, there's, there's no need I would just keep it as it is the other feature of the gun or other features of the gun that I'd like to talk about is uh, the cocking arm is beautiful to use lovely lovely and robust um, I've had no problems with it at all it's, it's an absolute pleasure to use the final thing that I'm going to talk about in this little review and demonstration is the shot count of the gun. So when um, this gun was provided to me, it was at 200 bar, and I've taken it down to 100 bar. And I have had at least 10 magazines. So I've had around 120 shots from going from 200 bar to 100 bar on the gun. That's incredible, especially because it's got such a small little tank on it. It uh, really is amazing. I can't think of anything negative to say about this. I'm, I'm really sorry. If it was a criticism that was specific to the gun, I would say something like, I'd want a bigger f tank, but you would buy this gun for its positives. The fact that it's lovely and robust and compact. It's extremely well made. Extremely well made. I, I can't really get over how how nice it is. Um, I guess the final thing to say, the fill port probe, the fill port, you just open it up at the side here, pop it in, and fill it up. So, that's it, that concludes this look into the Uragan Compact. I really like this gun and I am very interested to know about what some of the other guns are like in the range, but I think as an introduction to this, it's a lovely gun. Absolutely fantastic. So I would speak to the guys at Crackshot in Newton Abbott if you're interested in this because I know that some of you won't be able to come down to Devon to actually check them out but they are more than willing to ship to a local RFD um, to, to, to do an RFD transfer and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to show you all of the data in this video because you might not be able to come down and see these for yourself they're incredible this is an incredible gun. It's around 1,500 pounds, which is definitely not cheap. I'm not gonna pretend that that's not a lot of money. However, it is considerably cheaper and remarkably superior in terms of quality than some of the other guns that might be available on the market. I'm super impressed with this. I can't wait to try one in 177. 
one of the reasons why Crackshot is such a good shop is that they will look after you. So if you're looking to do a part exchange, Eric will absolutely entertain that, and I think he offers really good prices for his part exchanges. Um, and, I mean, you're buying a new gun, so it's covered with warranty and consumer rights legislation, but Crackshot will absolutely look after you if anything was to go wrong with a prospective purchase. I love this. You can see how happy I was with when I was shooting it. Um, using my elbows, right? Really, really cool gun. So what I will do to finish, I will just show you briefly some uh, like artistic looking shots of the gun because some people have requested that and I'll also show you to finish up how you actually load the gun and that's going to be it. Highly recommend checking these out. Absolute pleasure to use. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, so the magazine on these guns is super good quality, right? Now, you'll see there's a little bit of a bump at the top there. That's where you feed the pellet in. So what you do is you just move it along ever so slightly, and the pellet won't fall out. Just pop it in. Move it along again. And you pop another one in there. Pop. Do it again and until you filled up your magazine. In 177, I believe they are 14, and in 22, they are 12. The, the magazine is superior quality to anything I've seen. It reminded me, when I got it out, a little bit of an FX magazine, but it's honestly much, much, much better quality. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. So I have the targets here from earlier on. This is the one at 20 meters. And you can see that a one pound coin covers as you would expect. If I look at the one that is 30 meters, again, a one pound coin covers it lovely. If I look at the one at, this is take one because I had to readjust for zeroing. At 40 meters, there you go. It's all covered by a one pound coin. This is 40 meters take two. There was a mistake there, but you can see at the back there, that the majority of them are covered by a one pound coin. Oops. And there is my 50 meter group. So again, the majority of them are covered easily by a one pound coin.